A nigga style is unorthodox. Move over, y'all amateurs. Congratulations, you just got yourself a Latino boyfriend and everything is going great. But there are some things you might find different about our culture or you're just curious about. Well, you're in the right channel because luckily for you, Frank Legend is Latino, baby, and I can help you figure it out. So yeah, here are some things that you should expect from a Latino boyfriend. Point number one, if you got a good Latino boyfriend, you can definitely expect him to have a job. Here's the thing about us Latinos, we are hardworking people. We work hard because we want to provide for our wife and eventual kids. Even if we're not married or we're just engaged or in a committed relationship, we're working hard so we know that we can provide for our family and kids in the future. We want our family and our kids to have everything they need to succeed in life. Why do I feel like I'm in a commercial or something? I'm talking weird now. Anyways, that's why dating a Latino might be difficult for some girls out there. Because we might not have enough time to spend with you and it's difficult especially for me to balance my love life and my work life. So it's like... I don't know which one I'm gonna choose because I got bills to pay and money to make. So yeah. Point number two, if you got a Latino boyfriend, be prepared to meet his family. We are very family-oriented men. Family is a big thing when it comes to us Latinos. If we're taking a girl serious, we gotta introduce her to the family. And just so you know, most of us Latinos have like get-togethers or like barbecues like every other weekend or something like that. So yeah. There's gonna be a lot of family gatherings and you're definitely gonna get invited eventually because us Latinos want you to meet our family to get to know them and for them to get to know you and you know, bam, approved or not approved. We gotta know what our family thinks about you to be honest. It's cause we know that if we're gonna be together for a long time, so is our family. Our family's never going nowhere. So we're gonna always be there with our family and we wanna invite you to be there with our family as well. So if you're shy, yeah, you might want to work on that or you know, you got to tell your man beforehand like, you know, we might want to take it so I don't want to meet your family yet because and definitely say yet because if you do say you don't want to meet his family ever, that's a red flag right there. Our cultures might be different, you know, because honestly, if I were to ask a girl out that I'm taking serious as my girlfriend and you know, I tell her like, oh, you know, there's a barbecue, you know, you should come by and she says flat out no. I would feel kind of bad. So yeah, make sure you know this beforehand. Before you date a Latino, know this. You will definitely meet his family a lot of times. Point number three, something that I've noticed that's really different between the Latino culture and like white culture, Asian culture, you know, black, other cultures. We're very, very loving and passionate. And you know, it comes off different to other cultures. Like us Latinos, we like to hug and kiss a lot. And you know, we like to, you know, be very lovable with the person that we're with. Like for instance, story time. I was at one time with this one girl and you know, like I was hugging up on her, you know, biting her shoulders and being, you know, sweet and stuff. And then she's just like, hey, 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 hey. Like, what's up with you? I'm like, what? Like nothing, I'm just being sweet, I guess. I was just trying to show her some love and she took it as it was like too much for her. I was like, you don't like me doing that? And she's like, um, I'm actually Asian. And so like in my family, we never hug. So this is kind of weird. Like this is too much hugging. And yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. I was like, what? Are you serious? Your family never hugged you? She's like, yeah, as an Asian culture, my dad and mom like very strict, very conservative. We never hugged each other. You know, we loved each other. We know, we told each other that we loved each other, but like we never hugged each other. Like what? I, it just blew my mind. I was like, whoa, like that's how Asian culture is like, yeah. I don't want to be part of that if, the, if you're like that like nah and of course like I've met other Asian girls that weren't like that at all so I'm not saying all Asian culture is like that don't get me wrong because you know like I say everyone is different but that's just an example of the culture clash you're gonna get when you date someone from the Latino culture versus someone that's from the white culture you know black culture Asian culture whatever those cultures are way different than our culture I'm just saying it might be new to you non-Latino people out there that are watching this video, but just know if your boyfriend, you know, is Latino and he's all touchy-feely, it's just that we're used to being like that. We're used to touching and, you know, a lot of PDA. Even when we greet in the Latino culture, it's like, you know, we two kisses, like, you know, at the same time on the face, whatever. My last point, one of the biggest difference you will get if you have a Latino boyfriend is sex. This is probably one of the, oh my God, like one of the most noticeable differences between Latino culture and every other culture else is lots and lots of sex. Latinos, we have a huge sex drive. Why do you think we get the stereotype of having lots and lots and lots of babies? Sex with a Latino is gonna happen and it's gonna happen a lot, at least like five times a day in an hour. <laughs> so if your sex drive isn't as high as a Latino's, 
we might be sexually incompatible. We love to have sex, we just do it all the time. It's just part of the culture, I guess. I don't know, it's just the way that we just... Too much novelas, that's what, I'm gonna blame it on the novelas. It might be really a little bit too much for me, uh, non-Latinos, because I've had, you know, white girlfriends, you know, black girlfriends, uh, Asian girlfriends, and they were just like, can we stop having so much sex? Like, is that all you want me for? I'm just like, no, it's not what we just want you for. It's just, we are, we have a high sex drive, you know, it's just how we are. And you know, it's so true because you see the difference when you date a non-Latino. Like if you date a white girl and they tell you that, they're, they're always going to tell you like, why do you always want to have sex? But if I date a Latina, she never complains. Like we have sex all the time and I've never had a Latina tell me like, yo, why do we have so much sex all the time? Like, can we stop? It's never been an issue with a Latina, but with a white girl or an Asian, it's always been an issue. So yeah, anyways, hopefully this video will give you non-Latinos out there with your new Latino boyfriend some insight into our culture. This is how us Latino males are in a relationship. You know, if you got a Latino boyfriend or you got a friend who just got a Latino boyfriend, definitely share this video because it might definitely help them out with whatever issues they arise or they're just curious about our culture and you know they want to find out more about us because honestly what seems normal to us Latinos might be called a little too passionate for you guys out there that are non-Latinos so yeah share this video to your people hopefully you enjoyed this video and it did help you out and if it did this the L the like button hit the like button up show me some support and you know I'll make more videos for you guys definitely coming soon every Sunday or Monday if I'm late but I'm not late anymore I think so I'll stick to Sundays just be on the lookout every Sunday there should be a new video here make sure to like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos next week we out the berries on the beach.